What's happening, fam? LA All Movement still moving. Subscribe or die trying. You see the thumbnail. Prodigal parenting versus prodigal kids. See, as you see the definition in the thumbnail, prodigal is wasteful or recklessly extravagant. So, you know, flashy. So, we talk about kids being reckless and, and, and wasteful. But American society is reckless and wasteful. That's what it's pretty much been. As part, that's, that's pretty much part of the capitalist um, image of America, reckless and wasteful. Because, you know, you're usually spending money that somebody else actually worked for. You're just taking credit for it, right? So, but did we think that that has went into parenting? Where we talk about a generation who, who's lost a legacy of inheritance, and some of it has been due to the policies in America, and some of it has been due to wasteful and reckless extravagance. You know, the the, the argument of people buying Cadillacs and, you know, uh, jewelry and, and shoes and clothes type of thing. So, so you got a generation who, who feel it, who feel as though, who believe, who think, who have seen that the generation before them, their parents, you know, we could even call it the baby boomers if you, you know, and I've got on them about this, were wasteful and reckless. So then you created a, a class of children that are quote unquote, you know, hungry and want more out of life. And those children have had kids. And now those kids can be considered somewhat prodigal kids because now they are raised in a more... Um, affluent environment, and or even if they're in the hood, you know, I want, I want, I want. I got, I need jeans. I need shoes. I need, um, I need to look good. I, you know, I need to. I was talking to my son about this. And I was laughing at him, and he's talking about clothes. I said, Yeah, you know, I've been a teenager before. You, you know, you want to dress grown and be broke. I, I understand. You want to look grown and, and rich and be broke. That's what teenagers are. But. Also, the wasteful part and the reckless part of it, you want to be recklessly, recklessly extravagant when you didn't work for anything, you didn't earn anything. So people's self-esteem is tied to how much their parent let them floss, you know, stunt, how much drip they got, whatever you want to call it, right? So, who's more, you know, as the kids get older, I guess, and the money gets tighter, parents are like, listen, I'm not going to do all this. I'm not about to be taking care of you for your life and for you for your habits. Cause you what I see is a, a generation of of young people overly concerned about frivolous things that depreciate, you know, guns and butter, baby. They they're more concerned about, you know, the, the things that depreciate in value than the things that appreciate in value. And but where do they get that ideology from? Parents, you know, who you know, maybe came up, you know, poorer than their children, and, and they wanted the quote-unquote finer things in life. So they wound up instilling that in their kids. So in a sense, that's prodigal parenting. You parented your child to be, you know, wasteful and, um, and, um, and reckless. And we don't look at it like that until, you know, when the kids get up, I want a car when I'm 16. And they're like, okay. And then they, oh, I, I want like a Range Rover or something. You're like, huh? The f What? You can't afford a Range Rover. You can't afford the insurance on a Range Rover. You can't afford, you know, I want, you know, kids want stuff and then you buy them stuff. I don't want that. Oh, that's just, that's broke. That's cheap. You broke. You cheap. What are you talking about? You ain't, you ain't got enough money to buy your own self this stuff. But this goes into, you know, adults. Dating, you you have we can't we're not going out to this place. You 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 just have you have grown women upset at grown men about where they're not gonna take them to a place that that she's not gonna pay for her own anyways. Because, hey, you you ain't gonna, how much how come you don't got enough money to take me here? Cause I ain't got enough money to take you there. You you broke or you broke cause you can't go. Why don't you take yourself? See how that go. You know, a real man should yeah a real man should should pay for something that you can't do for yourself. I understand. I understand. 
but that you know that mindset you 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 have kids you you become a parent you pass that down which leads to the fact that you know some parents are are, are having a hard time letting go of their kids because they realize they made them reckless and wasteful and extravagant and and that's all they are when it's time to get out into the real world and that and they're not going to survive like that the parents know it the kids don't know it and sometimes and when the kids learn it what the kids wind up doing is trying to play on that emotion mama mama I'm on it I'm going to get it together mama you know I don't know what I'm doing right now I'm only 37 I'm young I'm young I'm going to get it together you know, or, you know, the ladies, I'm going to meet him. I'm pretty and I'm going to meet a man and he's going to take care of all of this stuff for me because I'm pretty. I look good. I, and look at this. Look at this. Look at these hips. Look at this waist. Look at this butt. And because of that, he gonna, he's going to meet me. He's going to spend all kinds of money and waste all kinds of money and buy me nice clothes and purses and name brand things. And I don't have to do nothing. I'm like, oh, okay. All right. All right. All right, that's what we're doing. And then, you know, these kids don't have values. Well, you're not, a, you know, are you instilling values? You know, you know what? Well, you know, I'm going to get out of here, man. Like, share, subscribe, or die. Try and catch you on the next one. Peace.